If you find yourself in need of a Windows 10 bootable USB, maybe you want to run some AAA games or some other proprietary software that doesn't really work that well in Linux, uh, or maybe you're just a masochist who wants to install Windows so that you can have some forced updates and unnecessary telemetry, whatever kink works for you. Uh, but making this bootable USB on Linux can be a bit of a challenge sometimes, but I'm gonna show you how to do it fairly easily. So. First thing is to, of course, grab a Windows 10 ISO. You can actually get this directly from Microsoft if you want, uh, or you can get an ISO that falls off of your friendly neighborhood pirate ship. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and download that on the Microsoft website. You'll have to select your language. And then when you hit confirm, it's going to create a temporary link that's good for like 24 hours to download. Um, so I've already got that on my system. And the other piece of software we're going to need is Wo USB. So this is uh, the main thing that's going to let us create that bootable USB on Linux. It does have a few dependencies, but these are probably on your system already. Things like uh, Bash, you know, the GNU Core Utils, uh, Grep, Awk, uh, Parted, Wget, depending on what type of distro you're running, you might have these already, but if not, just go ahead and install them. And uh, to actually uh, get this program, you can just copy these commands that are here to go ahead and curl it and make it executable. So we'll just paste these into our terminal. And so now you can see that I've got Wo USB right here. So uh, if we run wo usb with the help switch, that'll give you an idea of what you have to do. So you see that you have to specify a target device. This is going to be the USB uh, drive or uh, flash drive that you actually want to turn into the bootable USB. So first you gotta figure out which one your um, which one is your USB. So if we do fdiskl with sudo, we can see all of the different devices that we have connected. You'll see how much storage they have as well as their disk model. So I know that my USB is this right here. So uh, now that we know that, that it's dev sdd in my case, we can go ahead and run the command to create that bootable USB. Uh, oh, and if it is mounted already, you're going to want to unmount it. So you could do an LSBLK. You can see in this case, I already have it uh, formatted, but I've got these two different partitions. So I'm going to want to unmount those. So dev std1 and do the same thing for std2. And now I can actually run this command. And it's gonna take a little while to run, so I'll just pause the video while it does that. All right, so we're coming up on the finish line here. It's just installing the Grub bootloader for the legacy PC booting support, because this is going to work with both MBR and UEFI motherboards. And there we go. So we've got this message that it's done. And if we actually take a look at the um, bootable USB in our file manager here, we can see that this is what it looks like. And of course, we have the EFI partition here. So there you go. That's how you create a bootable USB quickly and easily on Linux.